Bethel. Let's get right now to meteorologist Katie McGraw. Katie, when is landfall expected to be about what time, the day, it's, it's, and the strength, we're thinking? Yeah, so it's expected tonight into tomorrow morning. It has already strengthened into a Category 3, which makes it a major hurricane, and it's expected to continue to strengthen as it moves toward the Panhandle region of Florida near the Big Bend. Basically going to be making landfall directly south of Tallahassee, and the National Hurricane Center put out an advisory this afternoon using words like life-threatening, catastrophic. You could have catastrophic and uh, deadly storm surge, hurricane force winds, flooding. This is a serious storm. And you hear about storm surge a lot when we're talking about hurricanes and a lot of times it might be just a little bit of confusion because of course you can have just some flooding rains as well, but a storm surge builds up underneath that storm and then it has nowhere to go once it actually makes landfall and you get a 20 foot storm surge. It can level a tons of structures. So currently Hurricane Helene has 120 mile per hour winds expected to continue to strengthen as I mentioned before it makes landfall tonight. I would say because you see it's still pretty far away from the coast, so probably closer to midnight south of Tallahassee, and then the remnant low pressure will continue to move up into the Tennessee River Valley. That's going to bring some ra uh, rain and wind to northeast Ohio. Nothing like what they'll have to deal with in Florida or even in Georgia, because it will likely still be a tropical storm over Atlanta. But you see all of this rain moving toward us by tomorrow in the morning. You see it into southern Ohio, and it's going to continue to travel to the north throughout the day on Friday. So this gives you an idea that we are expecting quite a bit of rain for tomorrow, but we'll talk about exact timeline, how much rain and also some wind coming up in just a couple of minutes.